Uh, I think the main issue is Groudon super popular, Zacian super popular, uh, Incineroar is super popular. Yeah, like it's 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 Zekrom is just it it kind of gets shafted. It kind of gets shafted to be honest. All right, uh, we're facing Zacian and my arch enemy Kiram White. Hmm. Zacian Kiram White. I actually haven't faced this in a while. Uh, let's go Thunderous on lead. Thundy Calyrex is actually a pretty solid option here. Thundy Calyrex. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the Zacian in the back as well as uh, Blastoise. Yeah, we got all the misplays out. I definitely should have airstreamed. I definitely should have airstreamed on that um, Xerneas. That was a huge misplay on my end. Also, we're already at 69 viewers. Nice. Decided to stop uh, lurking on YouTube and check out the stream. How's it been tonight? Uh, it's been fine. We played one game so far. Uh, we lost that game due to a heavy misplay on my end. I definitely should have airstreamed into a Xerneas, but I choked. So because they're playing Kiram, they're probably leading Kiram. That's just like a rule, right? Is is that not just like a rule? Isn't that written down in like the Kiram player handbook? No, okay. Alright. Um Pretty fine with this lead, to be honest. I don't think they have Shadow Sneak. But both of their mons are immune to my um. Both of their mons are immune to my, uh, what's it called? Prankster moves. So I think I just want to go for a Will-O-Wisp. And I'll just T-Bolt here. Will they foul play me? Will they foul play me? Alright, you know, let's do this. Let's go hard into Blastoise. And we'll Will-O-Wisp here. Because if uh, they do foul play me, or get rid of my... Or get rid of my um, Calyrex turn one somehow, uh, then that gives me the opportunity to go for like Rain Dance plus Max Cannonade into the Lando slot, which they don't have too many switch ins for. Uh, if they ended up bringing the, I don't know, my team my team really discourages um, Rillaboom, so I don't think they brought it. Like it has Blastoise, but I have so many Rillaboom answers that they probably didn't bring it. Uh, so I would say that, like, once I get the cannonade off, like, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, especially if they get Will-O-Wisp here. Alright, looks like they are gonna Dynamax. Let's see if I get quashed. Even if I do get quashed, I should take, like, any hit from the Lando. Because I'm max defense, I'm freaking Incineroar too. How's it going tonight, Moxie? It's going, it's going pretty good. I'm going to see that new Top Gun movie tonight with some buddies. Which, surprisingly, I've... Oh, no. You have Shadow Sneak? Why do you have Shadow Sneak, bud? Why well, you got that? All right, we connect this. That's good. Airstream. They're trying to break my sash there. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine being you right now in this moment. Okay. I'm gonna hope. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that they don't have a lumberry on there, cause we didn't see that they didn't have a lumberry, and that's the concerning part. So I'm gonna icy wind here. I'm not gonna Dynamax yet. I want to save that, um, cause they might be eject button on that thing, which is concerning. And I'm gonna go thunderous here. We're Blastoise and that thing's burned, so unless I've just turned off on Nerve, I didn't... Okay, we're good. Are you Eject Button? Are you a Silly Goose? Aha! Okay, glad I... glad I checked.
Good to get that out of the way. Very nice. Is this team on your Discord? Not yet. I might bring it to Milwaukee, so I'm, I'm not sharing it quite yet. Okay. Um... How do I go about doing this? Honestly, I'm kind of tempted just to hand over Zacian right now. In exchange for, like, a, a, a play rough on their annoying little dude. Because I can ignore Lando. Lando hasn't done anything. Like, Lando isn't even scary at this point. Max Quake? More like, shut up. Alright, let's play rough here, and I'm going to go ahead and also go for a T-Bolt into you. Um, and yeah, that's fine. Basically, I'm just trying to, like, wait to Dynamax to the last possible second. Not last possible second, but, you know, like, the, the second before the last possible second, so I don't end up throwing away a Dynamax. Alright, they're gonna withdraw there. Something's gonna have to take a play rough, and I really hope it's Kiram. No, it's Zacian, but it's also taking a Thunderbolt, which is fine by me. Let's go ahead and Thunder Wave it this turn, or maybe I just go for my Will... Not my Will O'Wisp. Maybe I go for my, um... My Rain Dance. I guess it depends if they Quake. Okay, they do Quake. It's not gonna KO me. They're gonna take some decent damage here. They're running out of ways to be faster than me, so I should probably just, um, Thunder Wave them. To make sure they're slow forever. Yeah, that's going to put him in range of, um, that's going to put him in range of Thunder Wave plus Behemoth Blade. And I shouldn't drop to an Earthquake either, so we'll just do it. Because what I really want to do is just get this Blastoise in and start clicking Cannonade with Rain Dance up. Because once that happens, like, I think it's pretty much over. If I remove the Zacian, I'm very comfortable saying I'm probably going to win. Are you intimidated? No, no, no. My play rough isn't intimidated. Or my Zacian hasn't been intimidated yet. Alright, that's fine. I uh, don't lose anything this turn. They're going to Earthquake. It's not going to KO me, because it's a spread move and he's burned. And I have a lot of defense investment here. Alright, um, and I basically get to take something from his side of the field. There isn't anything super concerning anymore. <laughs> like, uh, even if the, even if the, um, even if the annoying little dude switches into this, he's not gonna like it. Because I'm not intimidated. And it's very hard to calc to live this. So let's see if he hands over the Zacian. Something is, basically I'm taking something here. Something important. I don't even think I need Rain Dance. I, th I think I'm fine just clicking Max Geyser into the Zacian, and, and I'll eventually win if I don't take it this turn, if I take, like, whatever's in the back. Because one would imagine it's Kiram. AV Tapu Finny, yes, yes. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a big Specs Finny fan right now. After seeing how it did at the last regional in Vancouver, like, I thought that was kind of heat. All right. All right, they're withdrawing, so it's probably going to be the Sableye, which I'm fine getting rid of that. Yeah, it might live. Who knows? Rock Slide? Okay, is that going to KO me? Nope. Um, but I am going to be able to get my Cannonade off here. Uh, let's go Blastoise. Lando isn't really a threat. So I can just go for Cannonade after Rain Dance, and I think that'll KO this thing. They're typically more physical defense, right? 
Cannonade, uh, Rain Dance. I don't know, maybe he has Fake Out. It's Popsicle. We didn't see it turn one, though. Because we saw Shadow Sneak, we saw Trick. One would imagine he has Foul Play, and the last move might be Will-O-Wisp. And I think for this team, you'd want it to be Will-O-Wisp, so he may have foregone the, um, the Fake Out, which I really hope for. I really hope that's the case. Let's get this one shots. Uh, if it doesn't one shot immediately after the da or after like the the cannonade damage, it should do it. All right, no fake out, which is going to be very awesome. Let's see what they do here. Maybe a foul play, shadow sneak. Technically, won't know if I go first. Trick. Okay, what are you giving me? A Wakan berry. So I'm just going to lose my citrus. Yeah. Rock slide. That's not KOing me. Kind of wish I kept my citrus, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Yep, so after the damage, that should... Oh, no, it won't. It won't because of that trick. Hold up. That's kind of crazy. That's a little crazy. Can I still pull this off? I mean, they're still taking a lot of residual damage. I think I just take the Lando from them at this point. Yeah, okay. Let's do... Technically, a Hailstorm will, gar will guarantee a KO on both of them. So I think I'm in a Hailstorm. No, I don't. That's that's a bad idea. I'm just going to go ahead and Cannonade and Thunderbolt. That'll do it. I don't know why I thought maybe I should Hailstorm there. That was a weird thought, because I'm like, if I Hailstorm, I lose my rain, which is my whole th like plan of attack versus the Zacian. Moxie, when are we getting a Rayquaza team? You got one, like, three months ago. Two, even. I think I've used it twice. How do you think the new Fai Ari Tapu will fare in competitive? I, I haven't heard of a new Tapu. Oh, it's Incineroar. That's even better news. So there's no Curum to deal with. Um, he goes for Fly. Oh, dang. They're playing this really well. Oh, the Genie. That's probably going to be fine. Nothing special, though. Okay. Can I do this? This is getting a little annoying. I probably just cannonaded on the way down. Let's go for a Thunderbolt here. Moxie, when we get a Moxie the ability team? I don't know. I made a, a Moxie Honchkrow team in like 20, 2018. There just aren't very many good users of it right now. Also, I used a Gyarados team at Collinsville Regionals that had Moxie on it for like couple of weeks. That was like in 2020, though. Alright, it's definitely not Citrus and Cinerar, because that would have procced by now. It's either Shuka or Safety Goggles. Why? It's not going to even come close to KOing me. I am at half health, though, which means the, uh, the Zacian has a chance to KO me with a Behemoth Blade. I'm calced to take 50% um, maximum, or 49% maximum from that. I think I win. Yeah, I think I win. Um, neither of the Pokemon have Protect. 
That's Zacian. Oh man, all I really have to do to win here is get rid of the uh the annoying little little turd. Incineroar shouldn't be able to KO me. I'm gonna go for this. I shouldn't lose either of my Pokemon by doing this. No, the Shadow Sneak is going to ruin that. That's the issue. So I need to get rid of the Zacian. Which I should be faster than it after um, a Thunder Wave. And then I just Hydro Cannon and I'm good. All right, nice. I just have to not whiff a Hydro Cannon. And I think I win. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that'll KO for sure. I think the reason they let me get away with that is because they... Pro oh, he has Darkest Lariat. That could be annoying. They probably assumed... Oh, jeez. I might lose. I might lose. Uh, maybe not. I definitely have to Hydro Cannon this turn. But the question is... Who do I... I think I have to let... I think I have to target the Incineroar. Oh, wait. I might lose. Dang it. That was probably the last turn of Hydro Cannon, too. Because I don't have Protect. And I have to recharge this turn. No, I'm pretty sure that's the last turn of Cannonade, right? That was the last turn of Cannonade. And I have to recharge this turn. So my chances of winning are pretty low here. Because I'm going to take this hit. Unless they both somehow get KO'd by, like, um, Icy Wind. Dude, what? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you forfeit there? That is, I think that's the only objective worst play possible. Is to forfeit the turn you win. Okay, and we're facing another Kiram. Okay, great. Not that we saw it last time, but still weird. Um, let's go Calyrex. Yeah, they probably just assumed I had I had Shadow or not Shadow. They assumed I had um, Protect because that's standard. But I'm Lefty's Calyrex. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go with uh, Calyrex on lead. That seems very good here, actually. That seems absurdly good. Um, Yeah, I just go with Snarl, turn one. And I think I lead off Blastoise, too. Actually, Blastoise on lead isn't bad. Yeah, let's do that. Sashin in the back is, is definitely a need. Like, a need on this on this match. Uh, and I think my last Mon is going to end up being Thundee. Yeah, I'm thinking they just didn't check the cannonade turns. That was so weird. Also, there's a team review from Q. I'm going to try not to forget that. I'm actually going to open it up right now. Let's see. So, they end up leading off Grim. I should be able to Snarl here pretty safely. Yeah, uh, I'm going to Snarl, and assuming they want to go for like a Freeze Dry or something. Do I do this? Do I just go for it immediately? I think I, I think I'm gonna go hard into Zacian and just snarl. If they sucker punch me, good game. If 
there's no way they have Sucker Punch on this Grim, right? There's no weakness policy to proc with it. Okay, they're gonna Dynamax, so possible Max Quake Ontimization. I don't know about it, though. Fake Tears, okay. Is that gonna be into my Calyrex? Oh, huh, alright. Definitely a Max Quake. I'm definitely losing my Zacian here. But that probably reveals no screens, right? Worm Wit. Oh, let's go! <laughs> let's go! Okay. So they're gonna want a Quake here, right? I have a Thunder... Dude, I'm going Thunderous. I'm snarling and I'm going Thunderous. Because they also can't Thunder Wave that. I'm snarling and I'm going Thunderous for sure. Dennis the Menace, thank you so much for the follow. Quake me. Thunder Wave? That's what I thought. You're going to Quake next, right? Miss the, miss the Grim Snarl. Tell me that was the... Oh, come on. All right, regardless, not a bad turn. Regardless, not a terrible turn. I'm going to go for another Snarl. <laughs> and uh, let's Eerie Impulse this thing and I might live. Maybe I just Thunder Wave here, actually. I think I just Snarl Thunder Wave. Yeah. I don't need this, uh... I don't need this thing to win anymore. That Snarl would have been so huge, though. That's going into my Calyrex, which is fine. That's fine. Max Hailstorm? Okay. That's probably just because he thought it was Sash. But Quake would have done the job, probably. Actually, no, because it would be at neutral. I probably would have lived. Gonna take a little bit of life orb damage, most likely. Yup, there it is. Um. And here... Here... I go Blastoise, probably. I could go Zacian and just get rid of this thing. I'm just going to go Zacian and get rid of it. Because I'm always going to be faster now, even if they Thunder Wave me. Even if they Thunder Wave me, I'm good. I have to get full parried. And their team didn't have, like, any Zacian switch-ins. Besides their own Zacian, which, let's be honest, doesn't count at all. So I'm going to Behemoth Blade. Um, and you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to Thunder Wave in case they send in their own Zacian. Because it's not like my Thunders is going to do much this turn anyways. Uh-huh, okay, good. There's their own Zacian. It's going to get Thunder Waved and they're going to be real mad. Big sad. Incredible. There's their Thunder Wave. I just have to connect this and I'm probably good to win. Oh, come on. Uh, That's not great. I'm going to double the Zacian now. Because it's kind of mandatory. Maybe I go for Rain Dance here. Do I Rain Dance here? I'm going to Rain Dance. Uh, it's going to be important for the end game. Because I have to Dynamax this stupid... Um, I have to Dynamax this stupid Blastoise. Here's the foul play. Dude, I swear if they end up KOing my guy. <sighs> okay, that's not fun. Oh, it's into Thunderous. I tank that. Cool. Uh, don't get, don't get full para. Don't get full para. Please. 
Please, sir, don't get full para. Please. Thank you. All right. That's now on range of Thunderbolt. I'm not Dynamaxing Thunderous, dude. Yeah, that's within range of Thunderbolt. They don't have any way of avoiding that. Let's go ahead and get our Blastoise in. And T-Bolt. Basically, so I don't have my Zacian take a foul play here. Because Blastoise like, can eat a foul play like it's nothing. Here's the foul play. And more or less nothing, you know? <laughs> Close enough to nothing. Uh, in this turn, I just go for an Eerie Impulse into their Curum, and I go for my Max Cannonade into their Grim Snarl. Rain Dish or Torrent? I'm Torrent, because Torrent is just better. Everyone's like, why aren't you running Rain Dish? And I'm like, have you ever seen a torrent boosted attack, sir? Have you ever experienced a torrent boosted attack? Okay, I have a new number one priority. Not not that, Eerie Impulse. Because I'm going to get Thunderbolted and Fake Tears. That's my prediction. Luckily, I have a berry to prevent that from dealing too much damage. But that's going to be really annoying to deal with. Not a shot this thing lives this hit. I think even if he Eerie Impulses me, I should do enough where I win in the end. Fake Tears? Yeah, it's a Thunderbolt. Luckily, I got my Berry. And I basically just undid that. T-Bolt, eat the Berry. It's going to do, I'm going to say, 15%. Yeah, about. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Oh, it lived. Hello? Alright. Uh, they both go down. If I do this. Let's go ahead and just cannonade you. Thunderbolt you. Yep. Foul play. That's fine. Uh, we're in more or less a winning position here. Because they never Thunder Waved me, so I should be able to KO the Kyurem by just Eerie Impulsing it. Not KO by Eerie Impulsing it, but like, undo any possible damage it would want to do via Eerie Impulse plus an attack. Alright. Let me also toss up this team review so I'm ready to do that. All right, uh, we max cannonade despite it being resisted for a good reason. Uh, and I'm going to Eerie Impulse here. There we go. All right, uh, let's do this team review real quick. Okay, it's a good game to uh, tailor there. Let's do this. Um... Ooh, Betty. All right. Last name Jenkins, thanks so much for the sub, dude. And good game. Alright, uh... Da, 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 da. Yeah, the turn one killed me. I was like, oh, I'm losing this thing immediately, aren't I? I thought maybe you'd go for the fake out. Uh, let's see. This is a very, very solid game for Calyrex on lead, especially if I go Calyrex Blastoise. Uh, in the back here, Amoongus could go hard. Probably not. Where'd he go, Zacian? Did I bring Lando? Yeah, you go, Thundy. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's my play. All right. What's the Blastoise set? It's uh, pretty speedy. I'm supposed to outspeed Groudon. It's got like a 140 special attack. And it's got a Wakan Berry. That's not it. There we go. Zach Fisher, how you doing? Yeah, Incineroar 2, my bad. My bad, I mean Incineroar 2, obviously. Like, what, what, you guys think I'm dumb? <laughs> obviously, it's called Incineroar 2. I'm not stupid. I'm pumped for you to compete at Milwaukee. Can't wait to slay either Buzzwar or Blastoise. Dude, it's, 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 it's possible. It's possible I bring the Buzzwar. It's, it's more likely I bring the Buzzwar than the Blastoise right now, just because the Buzzwar has a little bit more sauce. Let's fake out here. Go for our, um... Our, our silly little move, our, our Will-O-Wisp. If we connect this Will-O-Wisp, I'm pretty confident we're going to do very good in this game. As a matter of fact, if we connect this Will-O-Wisp, I can probably just Dynamax the Blastoise and chill. I've actually never been on stream at a Pokemon event, except once at a small MSS. It was my first uh, MSS ever at um, in Chicago. And that's the one that I used in the... Uh, it's, it's the footage that I used in my most recent VGC lore video about um, Shiny Gyarados. Have a nice night, uh, Airy Stonks. That's like the only time I've ever been on a stream, and that wasn't, that wasn't an official stream, so... All right, fake out. No fake out, that's fine. Will-O-Wisp. Don't you miss this Will-O-Wisp in Cinero 2. Thank you. Easy live, unless you got Crunch. Unless he's got Crunch. Max Rockfall? Pathetic. Watch it bounce off of my Blastoise. That was pathetic. That was shallow and pedantic. Okay, uh, I'm really liking this Dynamax Blastoise now. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I'm really liking the Dynamax Blastoise. I think I will do it. I should also probably just double down the Solgaleo. And Max Rockfall makes me think he either doesn't have Protect or he doesn't have Quake, which it's more likely he just doesn't have Protect. Last few vids have been really good. Hey, thank you. All right, Blastoise is now taking no damage from anything ever. He is simply refusing to take damage. Quake, there it is, okay. Now, I'm probably gonna give him Palsy, but it shouldn't matter too much. What matters is getting this residual damage, this, this spicy residual damage. All right. Oh no, he's got weakness policy. He's back up to neutral. We gotta run, boys. Okay. Now he's taking burn, and he's taking cannonade. Awesome. That's so much damage. That's half as much damage. That's negative 0.4 times damage. That's 0.4 times damage. <laughs> okay. Um, fairly certain Calyrex lives literally anything. Uh, but regardless, we're going to go... Thun Do I want to go Thunder here? Maybe I don't. I need to keep Thunder around for Eerie Impulsing in the late game. So I'm just going to Astro Barrage... Uh, and we're gonna... Do I want to hit him? I'm just gonna hit him again.
Air Slash. Oh, he doesn't have Brutal Swing. Okay. Oh, that did a lot. I might not take this hit. Oh, he's got Max Flare? I'm definitely taking this hit. Incineroar 2. Busted. In fact. The damage that you're going to deal with me? With your Kyogre? Pathetic. Oh, he flinched me. Alright, that's not good. I suppose that was an out. I suppose that was an out that could have happened. Um, luckily, Tornadus goes down next turn. And I can actually just get my... I can get my freaking guy out here. He doesn't really need to stay in. Alright. Now, so Galio is going to Undynamax, which means at the end of the next turn, he goes down anyway. So my correct play, funny enough, is going to be to Max Strike this Tornadus in case the Sogalio for some reason switches out because I guarantee two KOs that, that way. Uh, and we're going to go Zacian here because an Earthquake seems kind of unlikely. Are you just going to Rock Slide? And even if he does Earthquake, it doesn't matter. So we're going to Strike here. Let's see if he switches anything. That'd be huge. It's Indeedy. Hello, Indeedy. I suppose that isn't great. That could potentially block my prankster moves, which is kind of important. Rock slide. That's fine. The smack strike should do a decent amount of damage, but... Yeah, we're good. And the burn will finish it off there. Alright. Now my only main concern is Kyogre in the back, because they can renew their Tailwind. I believe they have one turn left of Tailwind here. I wish I could reset terrain. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Um, I can Icy Wind here. That's a possibility. How many turns are left to Cannonade? There's one turn left to Cannonade. Kyogre doesn't take any damage from that, though. Um, and how many turns of Tailwind are left? We have one turn left to Tailwind. Okay, I'm cool with this, because what I actually do here is I protect... And I attempt an Icy Wind. Might not get it. And then next turn I get in my Calyrex Shadow and I click Snarl. Oh, they're going to withdraw. Oh, yo, I just denied Tailwind. If this KOs, I just denied Tailwind. I, I can't drop to a Water Spout, though. That's the only issue. Did you protect? There's no way you protected, right? He Water Spouts. Dude, Blastoise, somehow you gotta eat this. Somehow you gotta- you resist it, dude. This is easy. This is easy. Blastoise, I hate you. Oh, wait, no, he goes down anyways. We're good. <laughs> I forgot. We still have a turn of cannon. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, Tailwind Peter's out. I'm gonna get in my Calyrex. If this thing's Scarf, we lose anyways. But I don't think it is. I hope it's not, at least. Um, That'd be really bad. One would imagine they'd want to follow me here. But in case they don't. Let's go! <laughs> All right, that, that is a dead reveal. They were not Scarf. Nice. Okay, good game.